Welcome back, table tennis fans. You're watching the European Table Tennis Championships coming to you live from Yekaterinburg, Russia. We had two exciting matchups that we broadcasted live previously. It was Tetian Tetiana Belenko against Elizabeth Samara. Third round women's singles uh, matchup and that one saw Samara come out on top with a comfortable four to nothing win over her opponent. Then we saw G. Lee take on Carol Grundish in the women's category, women's singles category. And um, G. Lee came out on top of that one for nothing as well. We've moved on now to the men's singles category. This one will be Dmitry Ovcharov, who requires no introduction for table tennis fans taking on Liam Pitchford of England. Ofteroff is ranked currently first in the uh, men's rankings in the European category. Right behind him is his German teammate, Timo Boll, ranked second. Liam Pitchford, on the other hand, is ranked 22nd. 22nd in the um, men's singles category. That's Ofterhoff in the black jersey and Ian Pitchford wearing the red shirt. Ofterov is a Ukrainian-born table tennis player. His father, Mikhailo, was also a table tennis player and the USSR national champion in 1982. They moved as a family to Germany shortly after Dmitry was born. His current cl club is Gazprom Fako Orenburg in Russia. And needless to say, he is one of the four runners of this tournament. Together with the likes of Marcos Freitas of Portugal. This one gets underway with Liam Pitchford serving. This is round three of the men's singles category. The winner of this one will take on Winner of the matchup between Alexei Lirentsov and Ionis Panagiotis of Greece. There's that famous off trough serve. That was a good backhand. Delivered there by Liam Pitchford to the far edge of the table for the point, and he's up 3 1. Another well delivered forehand stroke by Pitchford, up by three. A good start for him in the opening rounds of this first game. Much like Ofdorov, the British player also began playing table tennis at a young age.
currently plays for Oxenhausen on the club level. Well delivered forehand stroke by Ofdra for the point there. Well done by Pitchford. Oftraff was assuming he'd go opt for the other edge of the table and he was caught on the wrong footing. Pitchford leading by three. Another well delivered forehand stroke by Liam Pitchford. Well done by Pitchford for another point. So he's closing in on playing for game point. It's a bit wide, but we'll have another six chances to tuck this one away before Offdraft catches up to him. And he's done it. So he's come out guns blazing, Liam Pitchford, winning the first game 11 to 4. No doubt a good start for the British player. And it's back to the drawing board for Ofdorov. He'll have to come up with a strategy to win the second one. This game will resume. The second game will resume after this brief consultation with their coaches. The second game gets underway with Ofter off serve. That was a good rally. Ofter off forcing Pitchford away from the table with those rapid strokes of his. And earning the first point. So after a shaky first game, Ofdorov seems to be on top of it in this one, leading 2-0. That's Liam Pitchford of England serving. Well done there by Pitchford. Delivering the ball to his opponent's backhand side. 
and got some serving. Off drives really powering those strokes away. Well done this time by Pitchford. He did not move away from the table. Responded tit for tat and got the point. A bad serve and it's a tied game. Pitchford doing the right thing tactically. Attacking off draw. There's a good backhand flick there. Forcing off draw to lean back to respond. And he's in the lead. Well delivered ball there by off off this time. Catching Pitchford on the long, wrong legging. Or wrong footing rather. And it's Pitchford serving. The game is tied to five all. Well delivered. To the far side for the point. Good serve by Ofteroff. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be a long one. Game tied at 6 all. Both players still very much in it. Determination on Ofdraw's face there. Satisfied with that point.
Well struck forehand stroke there. You can see the top spin on the ball as it heads for the railing in the back and flips back and forth. So off draw off now, playing for game point. To tie this one at one all. And he's done it. So after losing the first game, 11-4, Ofterov comes back to win this one, 11-7. Making it one games each, one game each, and a whole lot of table tennis to be played yet between these two. The third game will resume after this brief talk with the coaches. First point goes off Giroff's way. It'll be Pitchford serving. Struck backhand stroke there by Ofterov. Straight into the body of his opponent. And a good serve by the German player to make it 3 1. Back-to-back -back points in quick succession for the German player. Adding to his lead. You can see the focus and determination on his face. And his body stature. And regardless of the level of competition or the significance of the game or point. Ofterov is always determined to win. Point going pitch for its way there. Trying to cut down the deficit. It'll be him with the serve advantage. Well 
Well struck by Ofteroff. Those quick, rapid, and powerful forehand strokes of his work in his favor. Pitchford looking for a way back into this and doing well. Kanko strike that one on target, Pitchford, and off to off. Is moving in on playing for game point. Another powerful forehand stroke by off to off, and he finds himself now playing for game point to make it 2-1. Delivered stroke there by Pitchford, forcing his opponent to do some leg work. Off to off can't counter. He's going to want to repeat that if he wants to get back into this. Using the backhand to his advantage this time. And he inches his way back within two. Off does it. Two back to back games in succession for Off Draft, making it 2 1. Best of seven here. So he still has quite a way to go before he can ensure moving on into the next round. Or perhaps Pitchford will repeat his performance in the first game. He 
obviously does not want to give a 3-1 advantage to his opponent and cover the ground of, be forced to cover two games. Pitchford up 2-1 in this ever-important fourth game. Well-delivered forehand stroke there for the point. Just drills that one down the line. Well delivered forehand stroke by Pitchford for the point. Extending his lead by three. Tries to go for a repeat but can't quite connect there. An off draw closes down the deficit with quick points in succession. Pitchford serving. Well done by Pitchford to counter that powerful forehand stroke sent his way. Catching off draw off. 
on the wrong lane there. What a rally that was. <laughs> and Pitchford come out on top ecstatic about it. Was a difficult point. And Oftroff found himself on the ground there, unable to respond to the powerful forehand stroke sent his way by Pitchford. That was one for the highlight reels. Another point goes pitch for its way there. Taking the game to off draw. Still the third round, but it, it would be quite an upset if Pitchford came out on top of this one and defeated off draw. Eliminating him. But first things first, he has to win this game. Looks like he's on his way to doing that. Fighting for game point to tie it at 2 all. Well delivered, off to a good start Pitchford after tying that one.
battle of the backhands with Avtorov coming out on top. Well done by Ofteroff there, forcing Pitchford away from the table. And he finds himself in a comfortable 4-1 lead. Powerful forehand stroke sent directly into his opponent's body proves too difficult to counter for Pitchford. And Ofteroff extends his lead. An effective performance so far by Ofteroff in this fifth game. Not leaving much to chance. Closing in on playing for game point. But not such a determined backhand response there. Floats wide.
So Ofdroff wins that one comfortably. After a closely contested four games between the two. Putting him up three to two. Best of seven, so he just has to win this next game. Or if Pitchford wins, it'll go down to, it'll come down to a final and decisive seventh game. The players will resume shortly after this brief intermission and quick chat with their coaches. Brilliant backhand stroke there by Pitchford. Delivered delightfully for the point. He's having to deal with a difficult opponent, but he's done well so far. Once again, you can see Ofdorov lean back as he sends those forehand strokes his opponent's way. Well done by Ofdorov there. The quick flick, earning him the point and extending his lead by two. He's already up three games to two, so if he wins this one, he's in through to the next round. Powerful and 
Speedy forehand strokes are proving difficult to deal with for Pitchford as a timeout is taken by his coach to talk things over. Of course, th every, uh, things are crucial at this point. Down by three, he does not want to let off draw off. Get out of reach. So that is a well-timed timeout by his trainer. back into it fully prepared well deserved point there Ricketts pays off the edge of his racket the point goes off drops way again he can't hit that one on target so after I finds himself moving in I'm playing for game point and match point and Pitchford finds himself in quite a bind Sheer power on the strokes of off, on on the strokes delivered by Ofdrov seem to be difficult to counter for Pitchford. And once again, you saw it there. Game point and match point, and he's done it. So, we can't say it was too easy for Ofdrov, but he was the favorite coming into this. And he's done his part in moving on to the next round. It was a good performance by Liam Pitchford. However, not good enough to defeat his illustrious opponent. Stay tuned. We have another exciting matchup coming your way. It's Patrick Francisca taking on Marcos Freitas of Portugal. You're watching the European Table Tennis Championships coming to you live from Yekaterinburg, Russia.